what sort of advice you would like to give to someone who is interested uh, in starting a career in in uh, quantitative trading? You know, he's doing his masters in physics or maths or you know that kind of a quantitative uh, academic area or is doing PhD right now. What are your suggestions as to um, how he or she can prepare him or herself um, to get your, get his or first job? Because I think getting the first job is very important, right? Um, and then obviously you can take it from there. You can find other employers. But how how does one get the first job actually? Mm, there are many programs that uh, yeah, like graduate program, internship program. So they could apply, mm -hmm. um, yeah. They could apply early before they graduate. They could do that, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, as of uh, advice, I think um, it's my way of uh, making decisions, my way of doing things. I always spend a lot of time to understand what it is and then think about if that could be something I like, yeah. Because the, for them. Uh, if they just want to join it because they think it has good salaries, but maybe that's not something their character would fit. They, they would enjoy doing that. They have passion. Then that would be also a disaster, however much money they make. Right. So I think everybody should choose something they really they have a real passion on. And yeah, so maybe spend time on understanding, talking to people working already in the industry in understanding how the work is, what they do. And then, um, yeah, make the decision if they really like it. And they, if they really like it, and then make efforts of, um, yeah, all kind of efforts, like uh, applying to the graduate program. Mm -hmm. And if they, are, they don't have a common finance knowledge, read some books, or maybe as you said, can, can learn from, do some online learning from Coursera, it's interesting, yeah. And also, um, be resilient. Maybe they are rejected by 10 firms. Um, sometimes, yeah. They so could try them, yeah, the 11th. <laughs> yeah. What about other skills, right? Uh, the more soft skills. Uh, what kind of soft skills are needed in these? In these jobs, um, I think my personal uh, opinion. I think communication is important. So there, there could be some lonely academic right. researchers yeah. staying in the room and then <laughs> doing <Okay, their> silo. <laughs> yeah, and then before working in team, I think it could be rather uh, the advice, softer skills for working in a team. So we're working in a team, you're a team delivering things. So communicate with people about uh, update things. Because I, I have an experience working with some uh, fresh graduate who um, don't give update. Mm -hmm. Don't give update. Yeah. Huh? What Sorry? did you say? What did you say? Uh, I said. <laughs> Like they don't like giving updates. Oh, they don't like giving updates. They don't like giving updates because imagine working in team. Yeah. You should make the others be aware of yeah, what, what you are think? doing, your yeah, progress. Right. And right. somebody just keep keep doing things for maybe one week. And even we have already agreed about some regular update. Right. Um, maybe every three days or every one week. But then somehow they think, oh, it's not important. The most important thing is that I bring up a great idea, fantastic idea, shocking everyone. But the process is also important. You work in a team. Right. So you you can be a genius, but you still work in a team to deliver. So you make people be aware of what you do. So update your work, yeah. what results you, you get, and also what difficulties you get. Oh, it's, it can be something also interesting for fresh graduates. Right. They are afraid of sharing uh, with the the difficulties they met with the others. Okay. They don't somehow someone like uh, they don't want people to think they have they meet difficulties. They have there are something they don't know, okay. but it's very normal. They Maybe. don't know something, so <laughs> ask questions. Say what difficulties you have, and then maybe the more senior guys 
have advised on how to improve it. It's uh, more efficient than they stay on their own for three days trying to solve things. Yeah, could get some quick advice and quick solutions.